Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, we talked in the previous video about the uptime that is in the task manager. When you go to performance and you look at the um, CPU info at the bottom, you will have the uptime. It's going to say, so in this case, it tells me my computer has been on for 23 hours, 37 minutes. Now, in my case, that's since the last time that uh, I did a restart. And, of course, for some of you, it's days. Um, somebody in the comments today said, you know, it shows 14 days right now. So I'll explain why this happens, and it's because your PC doesn't really shut down completely when you go to shut down in the menus. Um, to give you an idea where this is uh, the uh, setting for this, it's in the control panel. So if I go to the control panel uh, here and look at the power settings and the power options, you have choose what the power buttons do. When you click here, you also have shutdown settings. If you'll notice, the turn on fast startup is on. And this is a default. Every Windows install turns on by default the fast startup. And this is to make sure that when you press that power button to start your PC, it starts as fast as possible. It also means that it keeps your previous Windows sessions open. So it doesn't really completely shut down when you shut down. It's still active. This is why in the task manager it tells you that you might have several days of uptime. Now, if you remove this check mark, turn on fast startup, this will also mean that when you go and shut down, it will shut down completely. And that will now give you the real time and the power uh, and the uptime in the task manager. So also, that means your computer is going to take a much longer time to start up. So um, what are the effects of this also is that the startup um, being um, in a fast boot, which means or a fast startup, meaning that your sessions are always there also means that over time your PC might encounter problems if a file or if part of the system would be corrupt, for example. This is why I always recommend if you do use Fast Startup, do at least once a week instead of um, shutting down, you will do a once a week uh, restart. Why? Because the restart actually will uh, trash the session that you have been using and will start a fresh new session. And this is also why if you do a restart, this uptime will start at zero, like when you really shut down your PC. And this actually can fix blue screens, can fix, fix uh, freezes, or your PC seems slow at some point. A restart might actually help you fix a lot of those problems simply because it restarts a fresh new copy of Windows. So these are little things that people don't know, but that are uh, important. And that's why I always recommend a once a week, go and restart your PC. Of course, that also happens when you have updates. Your updates will restart your PC, giving a fresh new copy of Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.